I asked myself, do people really even vlog anymore? And I think the answer is yes. And then the next question that I asked myself is, why would anybody want to watch someone else's vlog? Like, you know, like their life, unless their life is interesting, which I feel like my life is not super interesting. I'm just a middle-aged woman with a job trying to make content online. I don't travel. I just, I just don't have anything like super exciting to vlog about. And then I catch myself watching other people's vlogs that are not doing super exciting things. I mean, they may do, be doing something of a little bit of interest. Like I follow this one lady that is uh, a motorcycle rider. So basically she just rides her motorcycle and she talks while she's riding about riding. It's not super exciting, but I'm sitting there watching this. The person was vlogging about how they set up their, their home office or something like that, or how they decluttered their closet. And, and it's like, I, I watch them and I'm like, I feel like there's like a sense of just companionship, maybe friendship, um, interest, kind of like we're hanging out. Every once in a while, there'll be like a little tidbit, like an interesting information that I pick up that I may note down or, or do something about. So, you know, maybe, maybe that's the reason why people vlog. So I decided to vlog my morning and uh, this is me just waking up. I've got my coffee it is 6.16 in the morning. I've been awake since about 4.30. My coffee is already cold. I'm gonna have to go microwave that. So I don't know, maybe we'll take a trip over to the microwave. I am recording this on my Sony ZB E10. I think that's the name of the camera. I've got my cell phone here. I'm not recording on my cell phone. I'm also recording my screen because I wanted to show some of the stuff that I'm talking about on my screen. Hopefully the audio is good. My audio is on my laptop. This is like the first time I've tried this setup where I'm doing two recording things at the same time and then I'm about to cut it all together. So that might be an interesting other video that I do. So let me uh, actually if this is the first time you've seen me, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jamie and I am a content creator. I do create content on multiple social media platforms and I'm going to go over those platforms this morning. I'm also an affiliate for a number of products and I have a full-time job. So this is like not my full-time gig, full-time as a web administrator, specifically for the SharePoint platform. We have both on-premises SharePoint environments and I administer SharePoint online teams, forms, planner, uh, all, you know, those cloud kind of tools. Um, I don't want to make a channel about those things because I live and breathe that, you know, 40-ish hours a week, you know, sometimes 50, sometimes less than 40, an average of 40 hours a week. And it, it you know, the subject of talking about those things honestly bores me that I don't want to continue to talk about it after hours. So anyways, I like to make content. I enjoy talking about things that are interesting to me and explaining things to people, teaching, uh, demonstrating, doing product reviews. And I enjoy the whole process of the, you know, the production of making that content. So editing it and adding all the stuff and uploading it and um, interacting with, you know, commenters and followers and stuff like that. So that's just what I do. I, I guess I would consider this my hobby, although I am looking to make hopefully a substantial amount of money doing this by monetizing my platforms and um, I don't know about brand deals. I mean, we'll see. Um, I, I just, I'm an introvert and being that I already work 40 hours a week, I don't really want to get into trading my hours for money, like having a contract, like having them say, this is what I want you to do X, Y, Z, me doing it and then giving back to them and them critiquing it saying whether that's good or not and then me redoing it like I just I want to do my own thing I want to be like I posted this video the video did good or the video flopped moving on with my life I posted that video you know what I mean so like I just don't want to be beholden if that is even the right word I don't know but let's go through my morning routine now that we know each other okay I don't know you I will know you if you leave some comments about what you do and I'll go check out your your channel, your video, or whatever. Um, but uh, since I can't see you, I, I don't know anything about you, but you know a little bit more about me. Let's get into my morning routine. So usually what I do is I check all of my social medias. And so this is usually done on my phone. I like to go through to see what kind of comments I got, you know, what kind of video um, views I got, did I get any sales? So my main platform is TikTok. This is my account on TikTok. I've got 22, 
point four thousand followers i don't know how well this is going to come out because <laughs> i'm oh you know what i forgot to flip out my camera and i can't see myself let me go do that so this is like literally uh as i'm doing it and realizing that i messed up so let, let's just go around and go turn that around so i can see myself all right now i can see myself and realize that i'm really badly lit but you know what we're going with it we're just going to continue because this is not a perfect video. I'm ba I, I'm wearing yesterday's clothes until I take a shower. That's that's like my routine every day. I take a shower. I put on fresh clothes. You know, I put on my night PJs and stuff and save my clothes. And then the next morning I put on the clothes that I wore after my shower that day because like I haven't gone and done my walk yet today. Like I'm going to go for a walk with my mom. Maybe this needs to come up a little bit. I want to get a little bit of exercise in and not be, you know, super sweaty and stuff. And then I'll take another shower. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why I told you that, but you know, whatever. I still don't think I'm in the shot right. Anywho, um, oh, back. Ah, I almost dropped my phone. Why is this like, I feel like I'm putting it up and it's, is it sinking down? All right, let's try that. Maybe it is sinking. It is sinking down. My tripod is sinking down. Okay. So I need to go buy a new tripod, but we're just going to suffer with this for now. Um, sorry about that. Anywho, so yeah, I go on my TikTok account and um, this is my follower account. And what I usually do is I just kind of look at my last few videos to see if they picked up. You look at my comments, look at my sales. I'm a TikTok shop affiliate. So I go into my TikTok shop and see if I made any sales overnight, just kind of looking at my earnings and checking it out. This morning I was kind of bummed because yesterday before I went to bed, I think I had $150 in my my earnings. And then when I came in this morning, it's down to like 98 cents and that amount is not in the payout. So I'm hoping, and it's Wednesday. So I, this is a new thing for me where TikTok has, has switched me to getting my withdrawals on Wednesdays. So I'm hoping that it just hasn't you know, shown here that the withdrawal has gone through and that I will see that. So I hope the money isn't lost basically. So, um, that's what I do. I look here, I get about 80 to a hundred messages from shops a day. I don't even look at most of them, um, just because it's a lot of just junk. Um, I don't want to say it. I want to align myself with shops that have a good rating on TikTok and sh and products that have a good rating. TikTok has a rating system. Um, let me see what it's called. I can't remember. Um, 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 product selection store score. Right now, mine is at a 4.5. You can see it kind of there at the bottom. It's probably um, backwards, maybe. I don't know. Is it backwards? I can't read it. Anywho, so the, re the way that you get a better product selection score is working with shops that are not like fly by the night shops, random shops that just put up one product, like they're trying to, you know, drop ship from Alibaba or whatever. I like to look at the number of products that they sold, um, the number of the, like if I get a sample of something and, and I do get quite a lot of samples, I've got 20 samples coming on the way. So those are products that are free to me that I don't have to pay for that the shop provides in exchange for me doing a video talking about the product. Most of the products I do end up liking because I think I select well. You know, I don't want to get a bunch of random products that I just don't think I'm going to like or that I don't like by, you know, getting a bunch of those samples from those ones that I mentioned, that 80 to 100 that contact me a day. And um, and just, you know, having my score go down and not getting, I mean, the whole point is to get sales, but it the, also the main point for me at least is to build a community and to build a reputation as someone that is going to be honest and present good products for people to buy. I don't want to give people a bunch of junk and you know what I mean? Like it's, it's bull. It's, it's because I don't really feel like you can get a good amount of sales and sustainable, you know, that kind of thing without having the former, without having the relationship, the trust, the, you know, like, Oh, okay. She's on my feed. And I, you know, that other thing she recommended I bought and she was right. And I love it. You know, let me look at this new thing that she's, you know, saying is awesome. And maybe I'll consider buying that. So you want, I want repeat 
customers. I want people that are like, I, I follow this one lady and I love probably 99% of her um, clothing recommendations. She used to be a shop owner. She used to have like a little boutique, like a local boutique in her town. So like when she comes on, I'm like, okay, here comes Katrina and we're about the same size. And she talks about the fabric content. She talks about all the stuff and she talks about what size she gets. And then I go and I buy it and I end up loving it. And then the next time I see her, I'm like, here comes Katrina again. I'm like, Katrina, like stop posting this stuff because you costed me a lot of money. But you get, that's the kind of relationship that I want to have with my audience. So back to what I do. So that's what I'm looking for when I look on TikTok. My other social media platforms are not super monetized or have as many. Like Facebook, I have zero followers. I started Facebook about a month ago again because I had had an account. I deleted it and so I had to restart again. Same thing with Instagram, about a month old and I've only got 57 followers on Instagram. So all of my socials are Jamie Goes Digital. Um, so a lot of my Instagram ones are the people from Facebook, my friends and family. Um, but you know, they're getting a view that they, they like a lot of them were not following me on TikTok, So they didn't know that I was doing this. And now I'm posting some of the videos from TikTok over to Instagram. And now they're seeing, you know, the st shop stuff that I'm doing and they're asking me questions about the products. So they're, they're saying, you know, you're doing so good. Like I love watching your little videos or they're so funny. Um, so yeah, I look, I look on Instagram. I look for messages. I'm looking, you know, I'm looking at my analytics as well. Another social media platform that I'm on is threads and on threads. I currently have 402 followers and um, so threads is kind of weird. I don't know if I like it. It's, you know, it's like X slash Twitter, but supposedly better. Um, I'm not really sure. I do need to go microwave my coffee. Let me go do that real quick. Be right back. Okay, that's better. Check out my mug. It sounds like a you problem. <laughs> my son, my 18 year old son got that for me uh, Christmas, last Christmas, and I, I just love it. So the next social media platform that I'm on is my YouTube channel, which I'm actually gonna show you that on my computer just because, you know, just to kind of break it up. This is all part of the video, um, you know, production thing is to have multiple views, right? And I'm still trying to be mindful of that. Views of me in a camera, you know, views of me doing maybe um, like B-roll where I'm not looking at the camera and you're kind of seeing the side view of my face and then other things where I'm sharing my screen and I'm showing you what I'm looking at. So I'm bringing up my YouTube channel. Looks like I got five new subscribers overnight. Why is it doing that? Oh, my battery's going to run out. Yeah, maybe I'll be recording the rest of this video on, on here because my battery and my, my camera is going to run out. Anyways, so yeah, I got five uh, subscribers overnight. That was really cool. Um, so I kind of just look here to see. Um, so this is my channel view, um, but I would normally go over here to the right and then click on YouTube Studio. That is like the back end of your YouTube channel where you get just way more information here. So you can see right here, this, my latest YouTube short performance last night, uh, I got 9.8 thousand views on this short. So, you know, I kind of just look at this. I look at my comments. Um, I, I like to go here to the little earn tab on the left and see how I'm getting to my eligibility. I definitely have um, not enough subscribers and not enough watch hours. So I'm, I'm shooting for this second tier one. So I would need the 4,000 watch hours and the 1,000 subscribers, which I'm totally not there yet, but that's what I'm looking for, for the ad revenue for, for YouTube. So no, my, my whole goal is to get monetized on all of the platforms in order to get monetized on all the platforms. I need to nail down my niche. And yes, I say niche. I don't say niche, get over it. I just learned how to say it that way. Anywho, <laughs> I want to, so I need to nail down what my, my niche is, what I'm known for, like what I produce videos about. Like I am, I haven't even talked about checking my, my money making thing. So I would, the next thing that I would do is I would go on to my Amazon storefront and see, you know, what commissions I made on my Amazon storefront overnight. I'm not going to show you that on my screen because I, um, I don't, I think that's against the term. Uh, service with Amazon and I don't want to get kicked off the program. So that would be the next thing that I check. So um, I'm going to check that and see how much money I made overnight. 
It looks like I made $19.61 last night in commission on Amazon. So that's nice. So that, that puts me up to $114 this month on Amazon. On TikTok, I think I was at $700, which is really good. Site that I check is my Benable site. This is a site that you can make lists on and um, it includes a lot of like affiliate links for you. Um, but you can also post lists of things from your Amazon account. Like I'm an Amazon influencer. I am a Walmart creator as well. So I have a Walmart storefront. So that would be another thing that I would check. I don't really check that every day because Walmart, I haven't really been promoting. It's new. I've, I've only had it for maybe two weeks. So what I like to do with my Benable is I like to take, I like to bring in things from Amazon, from Walmart, from other sites like Etsy or uh, just other sites and then make lists here on Benable. And you can see, see this little thing right here that I'm, my little mouse is pointing to. This means my list is optimized. So if I were to go on these lists and I've been able to optimize all of my lists very easily once I figured it out. So I'm picking a, you know, a title that has keywords in it. Um, Key, and keywords are things that people are searching for. The description of the list itself has keywords in it. And then I put sections that have keywords. Sometimes, I mean, miscellaneous isn't really a keyword, but sections kind of breaking up the things on my list. And then you'll notice under each setting, you have another description where you can put additional keywords in. And then for each item on your list, you can put a little um, blurb about, you know, what you liked about it. Um, but I, I usually do try to introduce keywords in there. If I can think of them, if I can't, I just want to have something in there. So I've noticed that I have to have more than 12 or so items on a list, have all of that filled out with the keywords, and then my list will get optimized. The bonus with getting your list optimized is that you get featured on the discover page of Venable. So here's mine right here, top in the middle. <laughs> so that means other people are seeing my list and they have the opportunity to, you know, look at my list. So let's look here. This is, this is my list here about the socials and the apps and the storefronts that I have that I've all the stuff that I've been talking about and they can go in here and they can click on stuff. This is, this is not a list that has products on it. So let me go to a, an actual product like the, this clean home list. This one is another one that's optimized. So they can come in here and they can go, oh, wow, this rechargeable window vacuum cleaner is really, really cool. And then when they click on it um, and they go over to Amazon and they buy it, then I get a commission. So that that applies to all of the items on here. I, like I said, I try to do a mix. I don't want to be all just Amazon. Um, so I do have actually some stuff in here. If I went here, I went to um, dashboard and I go to cashback. I actually have $23 in here of things that have sold. So these are the things that were on my list that someone ended up liking enough to buy um, and they followed my link. So, you know, um, so this is another thing that I check. Gosh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, the, the final thing that I do like to check is my posting apps. I use two posting apps. I use one called Metricool. And so I want to just make sure that the post that I had scheduled, if I had anything scheduled overnight uh, or early this morning to see that it, it went like it didn't error out or something. So Metricool is one where I've connected all my socials and I can see the analytics. Just here's a bird's eye view. You can see all the followers that I have here on all of the platforms that I listed. I didn't talk about Pinterest and you know, whatever. Um, it's a little delayed, so I have 195 right now on YouTube, but whatever. Um, there's a planning tab here, and I can click here, and I can post to all of these in, and schedule it. So this one I like to do is for static posts. You can do videos too, um, but I like to use repurpose.io for my videos because that one I like. It's less work for me. So this is one I would do with pictures. Um, you could do carousels on here um, and, and like text posts. So that's what I use for this. And then, like I said, the other one is repurpose.io. So I would come on here on repurpose.io and I would look at my calendar here and see, you know, if things are posting when they're supposed to. Um, this is tomorrow. So those obviously didn't post, <laughs> but the ones that are green, they're publishing. So basically I have workflows that go mostly from TikTok over to the other social media platform. Yeah, they're all TikTok actually. So TikTok is my starting platform. And then, you know, I have a workflow for each thing. So like if I want to post from TikTok to Facebook or TikTok to um, long form, which that doesn't really happen that much. Well, I guess it does. 
So if I make a longer video than a minute, I will do long form. If it's under the minute, I'll do the YouTube shorts. I can also post it to Reels. So what I would do here is I would go here, click on view content, and then look at the videos here and then, you know, uh, schedule and, and post them. So basically I post it on TikTok and then I post it to the other social media platforms with, without very much extra effort where Metricool, I would have to download the video and then upload it to Metricool in order to post it to those multiple places. Uh, this saves me from having to do the downloading and all of that. So my camera actually did run out of battery. So obviously I'm no longer on there. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up this video and let you know that I have affiliate links for the two posting platforms, Metricool and Repurpose.io listed down below. So if you wanted to check that out, I would appreciate you using my affiliate links. I do plan to do more videos about both those apps because I really love doing them. I have a video and I'm going to post it right in the top right corner here. You can see a little card pop down a video of how I edit my Amazon review videos. And in that video, I do step-by-step -step of importing the video and doing all the edits using cap cuts. So check that out next if you're interested in that video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. You can click the subscribe button there. And also while you're there, you might as well just go ahead and give this video a like. Anything that you do, uh, even a comment interacts with my video is amazing for me as I'm trying to get my, my, my channel monetized. And I would really, really appreciate that. And I hope that you like this video and I hope that you like videos similar to this. Let me know in the comments what else you would like to see. And I will, you know, try to make a video about that. Um, but that's it for this video and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.